Hey everybody, welcome back to Reality Game Masters. I'm Rob Sestrino here with Entertainment Weekly's Dalton Ross. Welcome back to Reality Game Masters. Let's see where we left off. I, I hate to start off with uh, Big Brother on Big Brother violence, but Central America is going to attack Venezuela. This has to happen. It has I don't to. know why, uh, so, so five, we, two, we three, each two, lose one, one. one. One and one. Again. It's good for the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Uh, Man. Gone. Unreal. Un. Un All right, so Eric Stein had a choice here. He could have gone after Sophie in North America as we expected, but interestingly, Eric Stein chooses to go to South America to take on Matt Hoffman's forces. Why do you think he did that? It's Big Brother on Big Brother crime, and it is interesting because Big Brother people are already battling each other in round one. That's a bad sign for all those players. Thanks. Uh, okay, I'll take my three. I'm gonna throw him into Brazil, and uh, nothing, nothing personal against the big brothers. Come on. I need a card. Here, man. Okay, fine. I'm doing, doing Argentina okay, with all with okay. all my okay. all my love dudes. There does seem to be like a coherent big brother strategy, though, right? No, there does. They're they're each no. building up a giant horde. They're attacking each other very minimally here. Where is my giant horde? Here. I have two countries. Getting yeah, cards. A giant horde in each of them. The reason that the big brother players are willing to sacrifice one army against each other is to trade cards. It would be really foolish if we had a strict no attacking each other policy because we can get cards uh, which we can trade in for more armies as long as we take one territory every move. This is a long game. People are going to start cashing in and that's when the actual game really begins. Sacrificing one individual piece is meaningless in the game. By keeping uh, a middle ground between us, we can trade off with the least amount of collateral damage. All right, I'm gonna attack uh, Eric in North Africa. Matt. Matt, sorry. Matt. Yeah. All right. Solid, oh, wow. solid battle. Okay, so you, but I also lose one again? No, no, you do not. Oh, you only rolled one, okay, cool. Okay, uh, so uh, now I'm gonna put everything but one into uh, North Africa. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Take part. Yeah, take part. Oh yeah, I own uh, Africa now, right? Yeah. Yes. So take a look at the board here. Cochrane, for a guy who says he doesn't know what he's doing, has all of the continent of Africa right now. Does this set him up well to go off into other parts of the world? Yeah, he's doing really well. He sort of saunters in there, plays the, I don't really know what I'm doing, I'll just sort of hang out here. And obviously Sophie and Stephen are leaving him alone. And I think what we're seeing is a solid survivor alliance. Stephen Cochran and I have a pre-game alliance. I think these big brother people are jerks. I think they're idiots. They obviously don't even know where Africa is on the game board. And so I don't want to be in alliance with them. I want to be in alliance with Stephen and Cochran. On the board right now, the survivor players are being a little bit more aggressive and more expansionist. And the big brother guys are kind of turtling up and trying to be pretty defensive and build up huge armies. And I think there's two really distinct strategies. Right now, I think the survivor players have an edge. So I'm really glad to be with that alliance. So the fact that there are two fellow survivor players that I'm going to be playing with, and two people that I actually know pretty well outside the game, I'm pretty optimistic about Steven and Sophie. You know, I think in this game you have to trust somebody. And it's easy to trust somebody who's been on the same reality show as you. Okay, Cochran. Forge ahead. All right, I'm going to do the Great Britain. Why? Why, Why are you yes. doing that? Oh, oh, now he's... You're bullying me. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> right not. You are literally... Dalton, now look at this. Everybody here is telling Cochran what to do, but it looks like he's only listening to Steven and to Sophie. Is Cochran basically being Steven and Sophie's pawn at this point in the game? They're playing them hard, and they're playing them for their interests. Do Cochran's interests match up with theirs? If he thins himself out too much, then they don't. All right, I am going to put two in Kamchatka. Good call. One in Central. I will attack. Cochrane in Japan with Kamchuk. Oof. Oh. Okay. Kamchuk has defeated Japan. Cochrane has been rendered weak. Uh -huh. 
All right. Can we briefly go into the war room? Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> All right, Dalton, so Steven and Sophie just went to the war room alone, leaving Cochran with the Big Brother players. Was this a mistake to leave Cochran with the other side? It's sort of like the old reward challenge on Survivor, Rob. You know, you worry about who you take with you because who are you leaving back at the beach? So that's the question they're going to have. Are they solid enough that they feel okay leaving Cochran with these other people out on the, on the board? We'll see. Okay, look, here's the deal, Cochran. If you continue on this path, then you're effectively handing one of them guaranteed victory. Oh yeah, because Matt's gonna get him out. No. Look, it's a math thing, right? I don't even no, have I do, I, I do agree that right now we're ahead of them because they're doing this stupid strategy of like leaving one for each other to attack. Yes. And that's stupid because they're just attacking themselves, so we're barely ahead of them. Right, this way you have, right, prospectively a one in four, since you have Africa, probably right. slightly better. He's the only one, yeah, he's the only one with a continent except for uh, right. Steven. But they're, they're working against each other anyway. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They've been caught to war with each other. Okay, but we're not working training, with each other either. Well, we, we should be doing more of it, but like right now, I don't have, I don't yet have the number, uh, the numbers for a I okay. will live in like one turn. Well, one at least I'll be able to say I'm right. I win one turn of it. Basically, this is your chance to go from and third place you can keep it. to possibly one or two. Are you going to chill on him then too? And exactly. So you got the borders covered. Has a sign of good faith. <coughs> Is there a two-person limit in the world? No. I'm in an alliance with Steven and Sophie, the survivor group. Why I can't be included in that discussion is beyond me. I don't think Steven and Sophie are going to attack me in the game anytime soon, but I feel like they're probably the top two of the group. Otherwise, I would be included. I don't feel like I'm a strategic equal. Not that I am, because I don't know how to play the game, but they could at least pretend like they respect me as a player. I'm just going to throw them on Brazil and uh, finagle a card out of Argentina, I guess. Hey, is there any reason I shouldn't take that? Well, yes, no. because it's no. me. There's and no we're reason. friends. No, let's not have a, take it for the card. I want a card There's no reason. Where should I take a card from? Dalton, this is very interesting right now that basically Cochran has a decision to make here. He could attack Sophie down here in the Middle East, or he could go after Ian in Great Britain. And both sides are putting heavy pressure on Cochran. What do you think the right move is for him? This is a tough one, but you stick with your alliance now. You don't want to make enemies with your two alliance partners. We've seen how that's worked for the Big Brother players not well. Yeah, I would go into Northern Europe. <laughs> or not. Definitely. No, for sure. I mean, I get you're saying that from a good perspective. Listen, so as, a, as a group, yeah. they're group. idiotically attacking each other, right? And every so often they lose a thing. We're being smart by never attacking each other and never losing out army. You want to stop doing that now? It'd be a very stupid decision. I feel like I'm at the Europe. bottom of this little group. Oh, wait, you all of Africa. You guys, Chill out. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, no, it's too late now. You've lost. He doesn't respect you anymore. I, I sincerely don't understand the game well enough to know what's in my best interest. Cochran, would you like to come to the war room? I'll absolutely come. Just you two? I'd like to go. Yeah.